Bum, bum, bum. I present to you the LDH 25 Rebooted. Hello LEGO fans and welcome back to another video in my mini-series where I present my mocks. It's your host and for it free. I know few people knew of the existence of this mock and I have a video with an old version of it. But now it is time to present it. Oh yeah. Let's begin with the beginning. Oh, that sounds dumb. Anyway. So this is uh, my first locomotive I have ever built and maybe the first one completed that was posted on Rolu or Rolu. I know Adrian or Adrian made some kind of locomotive but that wasn't complete when he posted. Okay, enough of the facts. This is a small diesel hydraulic locomotive that still has side rods as you can see over there or coupling rods as some of you uh, call it i had working ones on the old one but uh, they kept falling off and the whole thing was too big i mean yes it had uh, these uh, what the f engine uh, technic engine pieces on the wheels here and it was poking out and there was a uh, one of those flat technic lift arms and with another lift arm uh, tied to this one. Unfortunately, the whole thing was uh, falling apart and it wasn't quite working as I wanted or intended. So I actually tried to be as close as to the real thing as possible. That's why I have those tubes there. I mean these. Uh, the tile in that angle, uh, this tile, and the one by three tiles that represent doors, these. Unfortunately, I couldn't really fit because uh, these occupy like three studs and over here I have only two. I might redo that part. Uh, I will return to that later. Uh, these things here would like to represent stairs. I will actually insert a photo of the real thing so you can see how the stairs should be around here because I know over here there should be another stair, a uh, more like step, but I couldn't really fit it with uh, these pieces and I'm pretty sure LEGO didn't make one by one of these L uh, whatever side thingy pieces. Okay, so you have the stairs for the cab here uh, with a simulated door, but on the other side it's uh, on uh, let me just turn it around and you can see. So on the other side it's over here. Uh, it isn't actually mirrored. This is how the real thing uh, was made, so that's why I have it like this. Okay, let's turn it back to the... Ooh, this is a great shot. Okay, so uh, the top should be... This piece actually should be white, but unfortunately I didn't find another one of these pieces in white and I well I never never changed that so that's great for the moment I intend to change it but I'm pretty sure it will take some time until I get that thing done about this part uh, the back part it should have the same simulated doors as over here but then it would uh, occupy a 4x4 because this is 4 and uh, 3 uh, length here, but if I would change these then it would occupy a 4x4 four four, uh, space and it would make the whole assembly longer with one stud this way oh, actually and uh, Would you like to see it uh, made with these kind of simulated doors or would you like to uh, Would you like me to leave it like so? leave a comment or some kind of feedback. So uh, the windows, these, uh, well, let me show you like so. They are actually windshields. Yeah, so they should be those windshields from the 3677 set, but in white. Only problem with that is the doors wouldn't fit 
because the real thing has a smaller window around here and like two two bigger ones uh, over there and over there one from the 3677 set it has like two bigger windows unfortunately so that wouldn't fit exactly as intended so that's why i use these windshields a little bit of history about the proportion of this locomotive in the beginning it had an m motor somewhere around here that was uh, linked with two what are those medium gears uh, to the wheels and let me show you this is actually a part of the original one uh, it had something like this actually i remade this one with the motor like uh, right side up because I tested it, but unfortunately it didn't fit. So I kind of scrapped that and used the typical Lego train uh, motor, or what, what are these called? Power functions, uh, train motors, whatever. So the, the first version I actually had the M motor inside here with two gears going down. Now, uh, after I added these simulated doors here, I couldn't actually fit the M motor inside, that's why I scrapped that idea. And a little bit about this uh, power function strain motor, I actually got this uh, from a Lego set. You need to know about me that I really, really don't like to dis disassemble sets for parts, but I actually ordered a power functions uh, train motor from Clever Toys. I will have a link in the description for Clever Toys if you don't actually know what that is. It's a Romanian Lego set and part shop. So I ordered from them the uh, Power Functions train motor and I will put the new one when it will arrive in, back into the set so it won't crush my soul. I thought of buying one of those old 12 volt or uh, 4.5 volt motors with the uh, rods but it still wouldn't work because it uh, couldn't uh, simulate the coupling to this thing here around here so I might remain with uh, these simulated rods also I had the power source and the receiver in a wagon or train car as you like to call it because of the small size and detail of the locomotive I uh, couldn't possibly have the receiver anywhere on it so same thing with the battery box so I had to put it in an external wagon or train this means it always needs a power car as I like to call it oh yeah and uh, this thingy here should be a simulated coupling this thingy Unfortunately, it interferes with the magnetic uh, coupling when they are turning, so it can't return really that way. Uh, yeah, I might take that off. It had the same in the, on the other end, but kind of lost that part. Need to find it. Anyway, uh, I'm not sure if I will keep these on or not. Oh yeah, and about the doors, I actually put the minifigure hands for simulated. I really really hope you enjoyed this video. I mean I worked a lot on this mock and let's not forget of the modification that it still needs. Should I redo the back? Should I not? Uh, any constructive ideas? How should I add simulated doors over here? Anyhow, thank you for watching and for a free out.